There's never a dill moment on Talk Pittsburgh. We are celebrating National Pickle Day for those who didn't get their fill of the festival dedicated to the snack earlier this year. And I mean, there's always more room for pickles. I'm here with the owner of the Pittsburgh uh, Pittsburgh Pickle Company, John Patterson, and the head chef at the Coxcomb. We have Taylor Zanella here. Thanks, guys, for coming in. Thanks for having, Thanks for having us. Happy National Pickle Day. Yes, likewise. <laughs> so you love pickles. We, we have to since we're in the business of it. Yes, <laughs> right. we, we adore them, yes. <laughs> so uh, how did you get into the pickle business? We opened a bar and restaurant in the Strip, and we were there. We wanted to put pickles on our menu, and we bought other people's pickles, and we didn't like them, so we thought we'd make our own and save ourselves some money, and here we are. 10 years later and we have a pickle company and it's uh, just a big giant snowball of pickles. Here. And tell me about this here with the, the collaboration between Cox. Yeah, and so we found an opportunity to open up a new place um, and we, we was back, yeah, it's been about a year since we found it. We hurry and got in there, did the construction, opened it up and now we're infusing pickles into the menu out there and just getting, giving everyone a taste of Pittsburgh pickle across the, yeah, the region. That's wonderful. And Taylor, tell me a little bit about the Coxcomb. So uh, we're just all about using fresh ingredients, local ingredients as well. Uh, rate, you know, using Pittsburgh Pickle Company, of course, uh, <laughs> but also we're using uh, meats from Parma down in the Strip District as well. Um, and we're not just using just pickles. We're trying to figure out ways to utilize it some more. So like we're doing pickle brine chicken for a fried chicken as well. Um, we also have a half chicken on the menu that's inspired off of We the Pickle as well. That's so awesome. yeah. we're just adding pickles to everything. everything. Yeah, just Why not? Why right. not? Yeah. Um, and what did you bring with you so, today? So uh, I have the fried pickle where it uh, all originally started here. So we just uh, deep fry these in like 350 degree I have to tell you, Oil. I love a whole Spear. Yes. Because when you get the little chips, it's just never enough. Well, right. nobody you know, does nobody spear. does spears either. No either, one does spears. Know? It's trying to separate us from the norm. And what do you do to the batter that goes around it? So it's just uh, we take them straight out of the brine, coat them in flour, buttermilk, and then we have a seasoned like cornmeal breading that we coat them with. They get fried for about three to four minutes, and then we take them out, and it's uh, it's served with a Calabrian ranch, so it's a little bit spicy, kind of. It helps with the sweet and the salty of the pickle. I can't wait to try them. We have a couple minutes left on those. Yeah, just a couple of minutes. Um, in the meantime, will you tell me, John, about some of the pickles that you brought Certainly. here? Certainly. So this is our brimstone pickle, which is a spicy and smoky pickle. Oh, Not too yeah. many pickles in the world like that, and it's. I think it's the best pickle. Uh, we oh, also yeah. make a bread and butter that we call Dagwood. It's not your typical bread and butter. It's made with good, decent ingredients. It's mm. way less sugar than most bread and butter pickles. This is our Pittsburgh style that we started our company with. It is salty and sweet. You like those? <laughs> the bread and butter is amazing. Glad you like it. What is it called? The uh, We call it Dagwood. The Dagwood. And so we'll have a chicken sandwich out at the Coxcomb called the Dagwood featuring that pickle. Mm -hmm. That's our Pittsburgh style. That's the one we started the company with. It's salty and sweet like Pittsburghers themselves. That's true. <laughs> or like Sour Patch Kids. That's, That's really, nice. as, really well balanced. Yeah, right. It's delicious. That is our We the Pickle Pickle. It's a classic style recipe. Yeah, just it was the most normal one we could kind of come up with. <laughs> and this is the one that you're using on We the Pickle? Uh, it's actually the Pittsburgh style. Oh, it is? Right, okay. Yeah, right? Yeah, yes, on the spears, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. And that is our original. It's just straight up garlic and dill. Can't wait. What else do you have here? So this is our Bloody Mary, our Bri Bloody, Bloody Mary mix we call Briny Mary because we add pickle juice to it. Which we're actually gonna make a drink coming up. Yes, I yes, think. yes. And twice we've won number one in the country for our mix. Wow. Uh, it's, and if you're not a Bloody Mary, mix, not a bloody drinker, it is the best Bloody Mary mix on the market, no doubt. Mmm, that's amazing. Yes. And tell me about more of your barcuterie. Yeah, that you so have here. Uh, we have a selection of meats from uh, Parma. We have uh, Capicolo, Genoa salami, and then a hot soprasada. We have a dill Havarti, because pickles, uh, herb cream cheese pepper jam that is made by uh, Pittsburgh Pickle Company, along with uh, pickled onions. And it's then so I added the Dagwood pickle and the We the Pickle as well. The Dagwood and the, and the is dang good, <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. Did I see that you pulled some of those um, fried pickles I out? did, yeah, I Can had I some one? of these done before, so. Thank you. you. So while I bite into this, I'd love to know about your experience at Picklesburg this past year. It's, uh, this past year was probably the best year yet. They moved it from the bridge and mm -hmm. put it in an area that Made it much more conducive for you know customers to come visit, uh, but I think they're going to be looking for even a bigger place next year. <laughs> it really is amazing how many pe how many people it love is. pickles, right? It really is. Yes, and we opened the company the same year they started the event, so it's been just perfect. 
That's amazing. All right, so I, I heard, did you guys have something inspired just for today? For the National, for the National Pickle Day? So we're, we're launching our new menu at the Coxcomb for National okay. Pickle Day. So if you want pickles, get out there. What are you going to have on the menu? I'm so excited to hear more we about got it. Fried pickles, barcruderie, things like pierogies on there, a whole mess of chicken sandwiches. Uh, our, <laughs> our already number one selling thing is our burger as well. It's a cold smoked burger. Um, I think we've, fin we've hit over 2,000 already and we've only been open a couple of months. So. It's, it's all flying out. really good. I have to tell you, some of the best fried pickles nice. I've had. Those are amazing. So good. Great so much flavor. It's wonderful. And, of course, come out and check out the Cox Coxcomb, but don't go anywhere because we are not done celebrating National Pickle Day. Up next, we are mixing up some deluxe cocktails with some of this briny mix.